Okay, the first thing you're going to notice is everything in this kit is what you're going to see right here. I made these little InfoSurf kits. It's got everything you need to instill InfoSurf. So the first thing you want to do is you want to prime the catheter. That 10 cc syringe. You need a needle. 18 gauge is what you use. And then you need the catheter. You got your InfoSurf. The doctor is going to order six mls first thing you want to do is you want to wipe off the top of the infoserve canister pull back a little air push the needle in and you want to withdraw six mls but since you want six you need to pull back a little more to make sure you have enough to prime your catheter. So this catheter, you're going to screw this on here. You're going to push it to the end. There's the little tip right here. You want to slowly push till you see a little bit of, there it goes right there. It's primed. Pull it back so it's beyond the hub. Hold your InfoSurf. What you're going to notice is that your baby has an ET tube in and it's going to have a regular hub. You're going to change that out eventually to the Y adapter to put the installation catheter in. But what I want you to look at is this 12 centimeter mark here and find the 12 centimeter mark on the catheter which is going to be this red one right here. You see that 12 and that 12? You're going to line those up eventually, and it's going to put that catheter perfectly where it needs to be when you go to get it. So when it's time, after you get your Y adapter on, the baby is going to be on a Neopuff or the vent with a suction catheter on. When it's time, you're going to pull this off, and you're going to replace it with the installation catheter. So... It's going to be, somebody's going to be neopuffing, most likely the practitioner. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly increase this catheter till that red line, which was the 12. I'm just going to slow down so I can show you. See, there's a 12 here to the 12 there. You're now perfectly at where you need to be. You're going to push this down till it goes to 3 mLs right here. Once you get the three, pull it out, and they're going to be continuing puffing like this for a minute. Some people like to turn the babies, but lately they've been leaving them flat. That's what the literature says. After a minute, you're going to do it again. You're going to go ahead and push it down to that red mark and line that up with a 12 right there. You know you're at the right place. You're going to push the rest of your InfoSurf in. Remove it to the top, lay it down, and they're going to keep puffing for another minute. Once you've done this for a minute, you're done. You then want to remove your catheter, put your suction catheter back on, hook your baby back to the ventilator, and that's it.